So how do you navigate the current food situation and shortages in the stores? What is the best way to go around trying to get the products you need? What is the way that you can succeed in doing this? I'm going to compare this to a lion. You have to be like the lion. Now, if anybody out there has actually watched National Geographic, maybe when you were a kid, maybe you watch reruns now, whatever. You know that the lion lies and waits. The lion lies and waits for its prey to come forth. Now, why do I compare this situation to a lion? Think about it for a minute. You have to be like the lion in the fact that you need to be able to know when maybe your prey, your food, is going to be on the shelves in the stores and maybe you can succeed in getting the food that you need for you and your family. Maybe you need to ask questions. If you go to the store, ask a grocery clerk or ask a stocker or whatever else. You know, hey, what days do your trucks come in, you know? And maybe they'll tell you. Can't hurt. All they can do is say, I don't know. You may try asking a management team. Might work. You see, if you can figure out when the products are rolling in the door, you know when to be there. Historically standing, if you really look back, when it comes to stocking the shelves and stuff, was normally always done at nighttime. All right? Kind of like the lion. The lion weighs and lays. He just lays there and he's just waiting in the dark because he can see. You can see also. You see the trucks or whatever. Maybe you can see in the store, you can see them stocking the shelves. So another way that you can navigate this whole scenario that you are in at this point is to go to the store when they first open. Make sure you know what time they open. Is it 6 a.m., 7 a.m., whatever. So you can be one of the first ones in that door. And you can head straight to your prey. You're like the lion waiting to pounce on the prey. Make sure that you do know your stores. Don't go to a different store you've never been in before and go in there and try to find, you know, certain items and everything else. Make sure you're doing this at a store that you know where things are. Make sure you're familiar with where the things are in the aisles. And this way here, when the doors open and you know you're going for X, Y, and Z, you hit them in the order that you need them the most. So if you need meat, you're going to hit the meat first. If you need dry goods, rice and pastas and those things, you're going to hit those first. You have to learn how to navigate and get around the current situations that we are in. Now, a lot of people are, you know, probably sitting back and wishing and asking themselves, what if? There's a lot of what ifs out there, folks. And the whole key to getting around not being part of this whole what if scenario and the current situation and shortages that we're in is you need to be prepping. You need to be prepared. You don't need to be one of the ones that's running into the store and everything else every day to buy food. You shouldn't be doing that. That's just ridiculous. It's not even heard of. Most people don't even have more than a couple days worth of food. I've talked about this in several videos, several videos, because it's the truth, folks. Most people don't have more than a few days worth of food in their house at any given point in time. So when something majorly does happen, whether it be what took place in March of 2020, or, you know, like the winter storms are taking place right now all over the country, um, you see how people are heading to the stores and they're buying up everything. And it's all gone. So some of the ways that you navigate and get around this current situation is you need to know your stores. You need to know your times at your stores. When they open, you need to make sure that you can be in those stores when they open. You need to ask questions when you go into the store. 
you need to also know the layout of your stores. You need to know where those products are so you can execute and get that X, Y, and Z in the order that you need them for you and your family. That is so important and so critical. It is just the fact of life that you are living right now. And in the future, I would highly suggest that you start prepping if you can, if it's at all possible. So until next time, folks, try to get out there and navigate the current situation that we are in. Try to keep prepping. Try to stay ahead of the ball. And until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Thank mm -hmm. you.